I feel like this should be dummy proof. <laughs> Why is this can like this? There we go. May you live your lives with peace love and happiness. You are now taking into your care and keeping the happiness of the one person in the world who you love best. You're adding to your life not only the affection of another, but also the companionship and the blessing of a deep trust as well. The two of you are agreeing to share strength, responsibility, but most importantly, the two of you are agreeing to share love. So now, having witnessed your vows of marriage with all who are simple here and the authority vested in me, it is now my greatest joy I pronounce you, husband and wife. Brian, for the first time, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> All right, lift up your belt. Woo! <laughs> I was not doing that on that soft floor. <laughs> All right, shall we go to the car? Oh, we're running? Yeah, we're running. <laughs> no, they've got boots. Oh, yes. Jessica's best friend. But if you were to ask me who Jessica is, I would tell you that she's my soul sister. <laughs> she may not be my sister by blood, but she is my sister by heart. And I think the reason God made us best friends is because our mothers cannot handle us as sisters. <laughs> uh, we first knew of each other, and they can never get tired of one smile the little gestures of thoughtfulness show that they still care. And after all this time, they still do it no matter what. And for me, that's like <laughs> true love. <laughs> 
You know, I truly believe that marriage is not about finding someone to live with. It's about finding somebody you can't live without. And for those of you who know I'm a hopeless romantic, it's about finding that someone, that partner in crime, the complementary personality in your soulmate. It's about finding somebody you can't live with. Let's give a hey. hand to Victor in that wonderful speech. That was great, buddy. 